Hello and welcome back to WePC. The Arctic series of gaming headsets from SteelSeries is one of the most popular to grace the peripheral marketplace, with many crowning the Arctic's 5 headsets as one of the best in gaming. The Arctic's 5 hits that perfect sweet spot between price and performance and it comes to the shelves at under $100. Ticks many of the boxes you crave when it comes to a gaming headset. So let's see what it's all about. The Arctis 5 was relatively easy to set up, however a couple of fundamental setup steps are required before you can start enjoying this headset. Like all Arctis headsets, the 5s require the SteelSeries engine in order to utilize some of those features that this headset has to offer. But you simply go to the product page and download the engine from there. As this headset is fully modular, you will need a few cables to get things up and running. And luckily for some, SteelSeries has labeled each cable so you can easily determine which cable goes where. As always, we'll start with the design. And when it comes to the design, the Arctic's family rarely lets us down. Once again, the fives keep the same old family design traits that have been seen over the years from SteelSeries, and they've given it their typical sleek and stylish aesthetics. It's the kind of headset that wouldn't look out of place on public transport or on top of your head whilst you're gaming. The Arctic's fives offer up two fairly large close back over ear cups with a matte texture, and outlining the ear cup is a signature RGB ring that contrasts very nicely with the black color theme. On the rear left ear cup, they have your access to your volume and microphone controls and a small dial can be used for adjusting the volume. Strangely, this headset does come equipped with audio sharing features that use an auxiliary cable in order to do so. Next to the main headset cable, you have a 3.5 millimeter audio port allowing a friend to tune into what you're watching or listening to. The microphone retracts from its housing on the left ear cup and feels fairly flexible and firm. It too comes with a little RGB lighting zone which can be customized in the software package. On the inside of the ear cup, SteelSeries has used a breathable fabric for the padding and the fabric feels very soft and is designed to ensure that those increasing temperatures around the ear aren't going to be an issue. The ear cups are connected to the single headband with a metal clasp which does have rotational versatility. And whilst the ear cups do provide good comfort on the whole, there have been mentions of people's ears coming into contact with the inner walls of the headset. For me, that wasn't a problem, however, I know you might think it is because I've got massive ears, but it might be worth double checking the clearance before diving in. The headband is comprised of steel and plastic and feels both robust and slightly on the rigid side. It has a matte finish similar to the ear cups with an inner fabric adjustable headband to make sure that everything fits just right. Whilst the headset does offer good comfort and requires very little tampering, it can be quite abrasive when wrapped around your neck. And because SteelSeries have opted for the ski goggle style headband instead of the more generic adjustable headband, users don't have to fool around with the adjustment mechanisms to find the perfect fit. All you need to do when using the fives is pop on the headset and you're away to go. You do have some adjustment with the headband, meaning if it is applying a little too much pressure on the roof of the skull, you can always reduce the tension. Overall, however, the design of this headset is very good. It brings a very stylish look to the table and plenty of on-the-fly controls to make it quick, easy tweaks when you need to. I do have to reiterate what I've said in the previous videos in that the Arctic lineup headset feels extremely sturdy and robust. SteelSeries have always been known to use high quality materials for the makeup of their headsets and this is no different. However, on a less positive note, the yokes that connect the headset to the headband in the area does concern me a little bit. Because the ear cups are quite heavy and connect via a single point, I can clearly see this being an area where failure can happen sometimes down the road. The controls found on the headset feel rock solid and have a nice actuation feel when in use. And the cables are fairly standard and shouldn't cause you too many issues anytime soon. With everything in mind, I do have to praise the Steel Series group for their Arctic 5 headset for its general build makeup. As far as gaming headsets go for $100, this is very good indeed. And so design out of the way, it's time to take the Arctics through some performance scenarios. I started off with the sound portion of the performance review by listening to a number of musical genres and styles. And ultimately, this gives me a greater understanding of what sound the headset can produce. Kickstarting with some EDM. It's safe to say I was very impressed by what the headset provided right out of the box without touching any of the EQ or sound settings. First thing that struck me about the sound profile of this headset was just how well balanced it was. It doesn't offer any over boomy sounds. There was definitely a good amount of punchy bass there. Whilst the mids feel warm and prominent in the mix, which is great for electronic music, 
the high mids and highs aren't nearly as crisp as I'd like. Now, I was a little anxious before testing this headset out in my favorite titles because many great gaming headsets showcase strong high frequencies, an area where I feel this headset falls a little short in. However, after playing CSGO for around an hour, it was safe to say I was very happy with the experience. After warming up and getting a good understanding of the sound cues this headset provided, I took the Arctix 5 for a spin in competitive scenario. This is where subtle noises and missed footsteps can be the difference between winning and losing. And at first I was very confident in this headset. I could hear the gunshots and the footsteps clearly and they were obvious. One thing I wasn't overly impressed with, however, was how big the spatial awareness was. The sound profile gave me the impression of a small world with people's footsteps sounded loud in comparison to say background noise. The microphone used in the Steel Series Arctic 5 feels very similar to that of other headsets in the Arctic's family, which for me is a huge, huge plus. The fully retractable bi-directional mic has a great frequency response of 100 to 10,000 hertz, providing a clear and full recording of your voice. Unlike other microphones of this price point that comes equipped with a tinny sounding microphone, the Arctix 5 provides plenty of bass and warmth. In terms of clarity, I found the Arctix 5 to be nearly perfect, with only a slight background interference from the signal itself. And thanks to its bi-directional pickup pattern and noise cancelling technology, the recordings provided by the microphone are noticeably better than its competition. In less positive news, however, the microphone is extremely sensitive to ambient noise. Typing on a keyboard, for example, will no doubt leave your teammates in utter rage of how loud that can be. At the under $100 price range, features can really make or break a gaming headset. They play a serious role in the user's experience of a headset and can majorly impact the consumer's decision. And with that in mind, the Arctic 5 headset is one of the few gaming headsets at this price to offer an abundance of useful features. SteelSeries Engine 3 is one of the best peripheral software packages currently on the market, giving users access to a ton of options when it comes to the Arctic 5 headset. Whilst the controller deals with the game chat balance, the software package handles everything else that this headset has to offer. Users can fully customize the sound of the headset by customizing the EQ settings, DTS surround sound, and for those unaware what that is, it's virtual surround sound provided by the headset. We haven't touched on this in great detail because I feel it's a particularly gimmicky feature. However, having said that, some people do actually use it and have given positive feedback after doing so. And the surround sound can be toggled using the SteelSeries engine package where users can fine tune the experience into music, gaming, and TV. Once enabled, the surround sound changes the profile of your headset to try and make sound cues and spatial awareness more obvious. Game chat balance is a cool little feature that comes housed in the USB sound card adapter. It allows you to find the right volume balance between your in-game audio and your chat room. So if your teammates are a little too loud, they're playing Animal Crossing on their other thing, simply reduce their volume in the chat. So there you have it guys, a comprehensive review of the Steel Series Arctic 5 gaming headset. Ultimately, it's a middle of the road headset that offers good comfort, excellent sound, and great value in a bunch of cool features to boot. Isn't gonna win any awards in the order file category, but it certainly puts up a good account when compared to similarly priced alternates. As always, links to the products will be in the description below as links to some other great articles and our socials. If you give those a follow, be greatly appreciated. As always, links to the product will be in the description below as well to our socials and other great articles you can watch. If you like what you see, I'm not just talking about me, why not consider subscribing to WePC?